now it may be a good idea to create some background. We'll start with this screenshot, but we'll create something very different. Insert a new rectangle, which is sized as the screenshot. And for now, change the transparency to maybe 50% so we can see what's beneath. Copy paste this shape and we will resize it so it will match this bottom part of, of the screenshot. We will use this smaller rectangle later. We'll just make the right size, like this. Hide it for now. And for this rectangle, change the transparency back to zero. We, want, we will, may want to set the line to no line and the fill maybe to some gradient fill. I already have some predefined, it's a simple gradient from the orange, standard orange color to some standard gray color. It looks pretty nice, I think, so I think we can keep it as it is. And we will add some sparkles and uh, dust floating around. In order to do so, we'll insert a new ellipse, make it white with no outline and use this soft edge effect to make it a little bit blurred. So if you can set for example 20 or maybe even less 10 pixels and make it a little bit transparent, we can copy paste it, resize it, you know, play with transparency and even play with this soft edge settings to create some interesting results. You may want to keep the transparency pretty high, so it's not very visible. But of course you may want some exception. When you have enough of those dots, you can start position them properly, so there is an even spacing in between them. Way. It can even go outside of the frame like this. You can play with this forever, but I want to keep it short, so I'll call it done for now. And use this old rectangle to create this bottom part that is set the line to no line, fill to white, and keep it transparent to maybe 50%, maybe a little bit more like 60 or so. Now I want to select everything. Group it together, rename it to background, and move it to the first page. We want to move it with the shift key pressed, so it will be at least a little bit aligned. Right click, select, send to back. And you can see that we have those labels in white color, which kind of makes them very hard to read, so it may be a good idea to change everything from white to black. And I will quickly show you how to do it. First thing is we select this group with labels and change the font color to black, it's pretty easy. The next part is this page separator. You can also change the fill color to black, but you can see that the transparency is lost, so we have to manually adjust the transparency back to 50%. For the top part of our design, we want to select everything what it's named text box and change the font color to black. Once again, change the font color to black. We will select this 
Wi-Fi icon group and change the fill to black. And we will do the same for the outline of this Bluetooth icon. Just need to check if everything is set properly and we can call it done for now.